This lesson is on counting quarters and pennies. When we're counting quarters and pennies, we want to start with quarters first because they have a bigger amount. Then we'll switch over to adding pennies, which are worth one cent apiece. Let's look at this group of coins. We know that two quarters equals 50 cents. Well, now that we're done counting by quarters, we need to switch over to counting by one since pennies are worth one cent. So we have 50, 51, 52, 53. This group of coins is worth 53 cents. Let's look at another group of coins. This group has three quarters and three pennies. Well, we know that three quarters is 75 cents. Now we need to add one since pennies are worth one cent. 75, 76, 77, 78. This group of coins is worth 78 cents. Let's look at another group. This group has three quarters and six pennies. Well, like we said before, three quarters are worth 75 cents. Now we need to switch over to adding by ones. We have 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. This group of coins is worth 81 cents. In this group, we have two quarters and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pennies. Well, like we said before, two quarters is worth 50 cents, so I'm going to write a 50. Now we have to add our ones. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. This group of coins is worth 57 cents. Let's look at one more group. We said that three quarters is worth 75 cents. Now we need to add our ones. 75. 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. This group of coins is worth 83 cents. This concludes our lesson today on counting quarters and pennies.